to today is early Hooey! and it is cold. Um, there's been a catastrophe in the barn. A catastrophe. What the heck happened? That's all. Actually, that's nothing. I should just clean that up. Look. What did you do? I did not do it. But it's all like trying to get up there. It's the cat trying to get up there. Good morning, girlies. Good morning. You're gonna need it for your horse. Oh my god. No, Penny Pickle. You'd be looking really rough. Go. Hurry up before, just give it to her because if Penny eats all hers, even though Penny's a slow eater, before she eats hers. So if you guys are wondering what kind of grain we give, we just give vitamin grain. I know, she's a, a hole biting bucket. No, a bucket biting hole maker. That's what she is. You don't do that, you wait until she puts it down. Those are the rules, Missy. All right, go ahead. No. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> fastest eater here though. So yeah, she, she is can, fast. She can wait. See the little hole? Like she's had so many buckets and she she's just- had like three. Yeah, and she just did bite holes. And I don't, we don't even leave it with her for like more than five seconds. No matter where she moves, Gabby says, she ends up with a pylon at her feet. It's a magic trick. Watch. <laughs> don't throw it in here when the horses are eating. That bothers me. And then there's Daisy. Outside where she's not supposed to be eating horse poop. Uh oh. You're in trouble now, Missy. You're in trouble. You'll notice the minute she notices Sophie. There. <laughs> oh no. That oh no. That is not good. Yeah. When Gabby was just saying that when Molly was a puppy, she bit the electric fence and got shocked. Guess what, Gabby? I got shocked last night and it is I not heard, fun. I heard by two people. <laughs> what did they say? Oh yeah, your mom got shocked. Oh, I got shocked good. Yeah. I even had a dent in my finger after. Like yeah. it made a dent. Well, so I couldn't tell, it's pitch black. I couldn't tell what the handle was. So I grabbed something and it was the whole strand of it. It was bad. Everybody needs a little bit of shock in their life, you guys. Every single person. I caught her with a ball. <laughs> you got a ball now? Hey, I tried to brush know. everybody a little. Hold on, we have to wait, Penny, because everybody thinks they're the leader of us. But the real truth is, we are the leader of them. Well, then why are you in the back? Because we're kind. When you're a leader, you should always go in the back. Make sure everybody's safe and good. Go in the front, but tree on their pony. No, I put somebody smart and strong in the front. I am strong and strong. the tree. <laughs> it's true. I don't know if you guys remember that video or if you saw that video. It was so funny. All right, bye horses. <laughs> Penny's like, I am starving. And that, my friends, is how cold it is outside. That is cold. But it's true, there's this video on our channel. It was a couple of years ago when we first started doing trail rides, which I wanted this summer to be about trail rides, but summer is starting to be about show season. And next year, we have big plans. Okay. But just wait, but anyways, okay. Satisfying. All right, this is gonna be oddly satisfying. Hmm. It's kind of satisfying.
horses be running and moving fast. They're like, oh, I need to warm up. Yeah, it's cold, but my dog doesn't fall when we up to the house because she's eating ice. <laughs> oh, she's coming. Anyway, a couple years ago when we first started, like Sophie and Pearly was nine, maybe nine, maybe 10. I tried to do more trail rides and we went on this trail ride. I think I was walking, maybe. Yeah, I was always walking. Anyways, I... We yeah, got on this trail ride and Sophie was scared and nervous, but she was actually brave that time. And she was going first and the tree was down and she had to turn around. You couldn't really tell and Finn walked underneath the branch because it was just enough for the just room. enough room for him and Sophie <laughs> almost got decapitated. My, she bent right back. My ponytail touched his butt like right now. <laughs> yeah. Um I wanted to take a minute to address the elephant in the closet. Gabby, you are the elephant in the closet. Are you in the closet? What? I don't even know what I'm saying. So, the question. The it's elephant in the room. But elephant in the room. Oh. <laughs> I think I just mixed up two different things that mean completely Sorry. different things. Okay. So, everybody wants to know is Gabby getting Finn? Is Gabby getting a new Finn? Is Gabby getting a new Finn? No. Do you want a new Finn? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gabby's obsessed with Finn. If you guys didn't see the video, I'll be putting up a TikTok about him soon. But there's a new horse in town. Gabby rode him. She's been riding horses because we don't know what's happening with Chino. Like, he has his flat feet and thin soles. And we're working on figuring it out. And he's doing fine right now. But he's not super reliable. And he kind of doesn't really care about stuff. Like, doing stuff. He's not competitive. He's not driven in any way. So, we have been entertaining the idea of a lease or another buy or I don't even know. But Gabby's been trying out horses to see if there's another horse that she can ride if her horse is not available at the time. We haven't given up on her horse. We have plans for her horse. Like, we're just trying to figure things out. But I should tell you guys that long ago before we got Chino, I had this dream. She was riding this new horse of hers and we were all excited and I was watching her and I knew it wasn't gonna be the right horse. Even though we bought it, I knew it wasn't gonna be the right horse. I knew it in my dream and I, I said to Sam like when we bought Chino, like he's not gonna be the right horse, but I don't know what to do because in my dream she was riding a horse that wasn't the right horse. So do you just not buy the wrong horse? Or do you let the dream happen? Like, I don't know. So anyways, we bought the horse and I'm like, I love him. He's totally capable of being the right horse. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be competitive. And then he just always has got feet problems and in my dream she was riding another horse it was the horse that comes after the very next horse that comes after her new horse and in my dream I couldn't see the horse but I knew that it was a chestnut or a gray and that's what's weird is that I knew it was a chestnut or a gray and I couldn't really see the horse but then I had but then at the very end of the dream Gabby jumped a big jump towards me and as she was dreaming it or as she was jumping it I said out loud, Finn, it's you. I didn't see the horse, but I knew it was Finn. And I like I couldn't see the color of the horse. I couldn't see what horse it was. All I knew was that this horse was Finn. And I said, Finn, it's you. You're the right horse. Like, I know for sure that Chino was never gonna be the right horse for her. And I know for sure that the horse that comes directly after Chino is the team member, the horse, the, not that Chino were ever, not that Chino isn't her horse, but he's not her show horse, I guess is what I should say. And then, but I know that directly after Chino is her show horse. And I know he's a gray or a chestnut. And then suddenly, out of the blue, we try chestnut and then a gray. And... The gray's horse, and, and the gray horse's name is Finn. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, how does that crap happen? Like, out of the blue? Out of the blue. Like, I dreamed this a year ago. I dreamed this two years ago. Ruby, no. I dreamed this almost two years ago. Gabby never gets excited about horses. Like, you never get excited about horses. Like, she liked Chino. She loved Chino. She still does love Chino. She loves Dorm a lot. But she doesn't ever, like get obsessed with horses and I think she's obsessed with Finn, this new Finn. He's adorable. Isn't he adorable? Yeah. Do you like his jump? Yeah. On YouTube everything happens so fast like everything just happens. You just like dream about a horse. Poop you got a new horse. But that's not how it happens for us even though it might seem like that. 
I like to let God guide us and God lead us. Gabby's making cake. What's that called? Mug cake? I don't know, it's Oreo cake. Oreo cake. I already told our trainer, like, I'm just letting God lead us here. If that is meant to be Gabby's horse, then it will be Gabby's horse. If it's not meant to be Gabby's horse, it won't. I'm not making any choices or any decisions until I let God show me the way. And that's how I live my life all the time. If something is meant to happen, it will happen no matter what. And so I always just let God lead. Brandon thinks that Chino should be Sophie's horse. Uh, I already have a pony. When she outgrows Finn. I like Finn too much. I know, she likes Finn too much. But the problem with that is what? Um, I'm a jumper and Chino's a hunter. Yeah, Chino's a total hunter and Gabby, Sophie wants a horse that just can do both. So I keep telling you guys but I can't ever get on camera. So this is what happens. Like this is how <laughs> I learned what Penny needs to like have confidence and for, for her to know that I mean business. So when we're gonna do something, she always notices. She, she's not like a boy, she always notices. And so we'll be walking along, she'll see the trailer, and she'll go like that as soon as she sees it. And then she'll stop, and she'll look right in my eyeball. Like, let's see if I can get her to do it. I don't know if I can get her to do it. Look at me, Penny Pickle. You look at me, not me? Yeah, you see me? Go look at me, so that they can see. Look, Pen. I'm over here. <laughs> well, anyway, she puts her head way low. Like nose, like eyeball to nose almost. And stares in my eyeball. And then she goes like this. Like she's looking. And then I say, that's all I have to do. If I, hey, what the heck was that? So if I want her to behave, I have to like have like a mad tone to me. Then she does whatever she wants. If I have a mad look in my face, she goes, <laughs> and then she behaves. Like it's so weird. Is that weird? Is it weird? The reason that that's so good is because she always knows, like she always asks me so she understands what I want and then I can see when she understands what I want. Like she tells me, okay, I understand. And once I know she understands, that I know we won't have any problems. Like it's weird, you guys. I've never seen any of our boys ever do it before. I don't know. Comment below all your experiences of your horse talking to you. Last week, we introduced you guys to a company called Virtue Soap Company, and they make soap and other products for you, your horses, and your dogs. We're in so, love with the soap that they gave us. We are in love with the soap. So why, what do we love? So we've been using our bar of soap. What did you love? I like that it scrubs all the dirt off. The yeah. Thing. So it comes in like in a little bag and it's exfoliating and it makes you feel so clean. And also the soap doesn't leave any residue. I know. And it's vegan and natural. So anyway, they also sent us this stuff called Brush Blaster Magic Brush Cleaner. And all you do apparently is it cleans your brushes like magic and you drop it in a bucket of water throw your brushes in wait until the fizzing stops rinse and done so we're going to try it today and show you guys so it's like a bath bomb but for brushes yeah so we're going to try it because we have a contest going on right now we're only where one of our subscribers just our subscribers have a chance to win this beautiful Christmas basket from Virtue Soap Company. And it's just in time for the holidays. Such an awesome opportunity. And they are giving it to, uh, they're giving away this basket to one of our subscribers. So uh, I saw that they had the brush blaster in the basket. So we're gonna try it and you guys can see it before you have, before you even sign up to win. Smells good, kind of lemony. I got it all over my face. Yep, we got it all over her face. And all over the ground. So we may have been adventurous and put too many brushes in our bucket with our blast blaster. Wow, look oh, at that. that. It's dissolving so much. It's much dissolving fast. so fast. Mmm, it smells like lemon. 
I don't know you guys, our brushes are pretty dirty for this claim of it being a good, mm, it smells like lemon though. Oh, it feels good. They have non-residue-y kind of stuff. All right, so we are ready to rinse them and then let them dry, but I don't know if you guys can tell, the water has turned a funky brown color and also it has like a sheen on top of it. So you know that there's something definitely in that brush blaster to help get our brushes clean. Also, they smell lemony fresh. So we got a bucket of fresh water. I think you're supposed to spray them with a hose after bucket. to rinse them, but we don't have that. Can I put them in there? Sure. All right, so Sophie's gonna just drop them in there and rinse. Let's just do a few at a time. Okay, we'll do all the hard we'll brushes. Rinse and it. Brushes. Wow. And then. They look clean. So the hair didn't come off, obviously. We should have like de-haired them before. <laughs> but they look good. All right, so this brush, you guys remember, was super dirty, and look at the silver on it. It's like shining clean. This is a hoof pick. It looks beautiful. And this pink part was all dirty. I love it. I bought more of these. Clean. So super pretty. Almost like brand new again. Wow, look at that. Oh, that looks clean. Absolutely amazing. It worked really, really, really well. Typically what I do is take all of our brushes up to the house, put them in a sink, scrub with like SOS pads and, and stuff to get them clean. And that stuff actually clean them. And then you have to rinse them and then they come clean. You can see the color of the water it was so black. I love it. So good, especially for stocking stuffers. You know, um, Santa's always looking for like little ideas to put in kids' stockings and for equestrians. Brush blaster is the way to go. If you want an opportunity to try and win our basket that um, Virtue Soap Company is giving away with a brush blaster in it, then there's a link in our Instagram page. You can see the basket, all beautiful there, and you go there, go follow Virtue Soap Company. Come back to our post on Instagram. Tag three friends, comment done, and it's going to be drawn in um, Tuesday. It's going to be drawn in three days. So if you want to win, get your con get your get your ballot in now as fast as you can. Good luck to all of you guys. Good luck. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way